Hello, and thank you for visiting the San Benito County Historical Park. Standing before you is the tank house constructed for the Canepa Dairy between 1902 and 1907. The dairy was located in Hollister, approximately five miles north of its current location. The tank house was in service from the early 1900s to late 1960s. It was donated to the park in 2011 in an effort to preserve this historic structure. On the dairy, the tank house would have stored water for use not only in the farmer's house, but also to serve the water needs elsewhere in the farm, or in this case, dairy. It ensured that cows always had access to water, as well as irrigating the alfalfa fields that would later be harvested into hay. Water towers were not only important to the Canepa dairy for reliable water storage, but also to most farms and ranches in the area. This may sound very interesting, but how does the system work? This particular tank house, like many others in the area, is made using hard redwood lumber that was most likely logged and milled on the Santa Cruz Mountains. The reddish brown heartwood of the redwood tree possesses a natural ability to resist insects and decay. Heartwood is the wood closest to the center of the tree. The next layer, sapwood, does not possess the same decay and bug resistance qualities in redwoods. Redwood heartwood is still prized today for a variety of outdoor uses where stability and tight joints are necessary. The stability of the material, as well as its decay and insect resistance, coupled with its abundance in the area, made it a perfect choice for water tower construction. The tight joints provided a reliable storage tank with no leaks. Standing next to the tank house is a windmill, very similar to the ones that can still be found throughout the United States today. The windmill before you is an early era motor pumping windmill dating from the late 1890s to the early 1900s. Era motor began in 1888 and quickly became popular due to its mathematical advantage. As the windmill captures the wind, a gearbox atop the tower converts the rotational movement into linear up and down movement. This up and down movement operates the piston pump at the base of the wind. The mathematical advantage of these windmills allowed for greater torque, pulling up more water per stroke. Attached to one of the legs of the windmill displayed here, you can see the cable that would connect the gearbox to the piston pump. On other windmills, a solid rod would take the place of the cable. The piston draws the water up a pipe, which then feeds into the tank house for storage. The reason for keeping gallons upon gallons in an elevated tank was to provide relatively consistent water pressure through a gravity-fed system and to have water available if the wind was not currently blowing. As electric pumps became more affordable, wind pumps became less and less popular. Electric pumps were smaller and did not require large storage tanks. Also, electric pumps were not weather dependent. Though less popular, wind pumps and water tanks are still used today in mainly rural areas throughout America. 